All right, we are ready for the last steps of our project. So you're just gonna pretend like my bullpup is fully painted. And the next thing you're going to do is you need to cut out your bullpup. So I would cut it out as close to the line of the outside of the bullpup as you possibly can. All right, once you have finished cutting out your bullpup, then you're going to need to get one of these pieces of like thicker mat board paper from Mr. O. So if you have um, a cool color one, then you'll need to pick a cool color. And if you have a warm color, then you'll need to pick a warm color. Okay, so mine is cool color, so I chose blue. Then you need to use your glue bottle, which you should still have in your bins from your sketchbooks. And you need to glue it onto that piece of board. If you do not have a glue bottle, just share with somebody at your table because we're not gluing very much today, all right? So you need to glue that on really well. I like to turn it over like this to make sure that it's on there really well. Okay. And then when you're done, you're going to cut it out again. This is just kind of creating a little bit of a frame for you. It's also giving your bullpup more support for the last step of our project that we need to do. So once it's glued on, I'm going to cut it out again, and then I'll show you what's next. Okay, so I went ahead and cut it out again, and if you notice, it's not um, as detailed of a cut as I did before. When I taught elementary school, we called this a bubble cut, where you kind of just do like a quick cut around the outside. And once again, that's just creating a frame for your bullpup, and it's making it a little sturdier for you. All right? The next thing you're going to need for Mr. O is you're going to need a piece of cardboard. So you're going to get a long piece like this, and you're going to need your background. Okay? Now, you're also going to need your glue and scissors still. You're going to use this cardboard, and you're going to cut it into pieces, and you're going to glue it on the back of your bullpup to kind of make your bullpup raise off a little bit of your background. So you're just going to randomly stick pieces all over the back. I would make sure to definitely have them like on the limbs. The one piece of cardboard that he's giving you should be plenty though. You shouldn't need any more than that. Gonna cut a little skinny piece to put right here where the ear goes. And I'll put my last piece right there. Okay. All right. You might want to let that set for just a second. So then the only other thing you have to do then is just glue your bullpup into the middle of your project, and then that, those pieces are cardboard are actually gonna make your bullpup stand up off of your project just a little bit. Okay. So. That is the last step that you have, is to get your bullpup glued onto the middle of your project. Yes, it's going to cover up just a little bit of your font, but it should be okay. Um, and then you will have time to let it dry too, because we are not turning these in until Monday. Um, if you need anything to look at, remember there are pictures of the project that are finished in your Google Classroom, so you'll have those. But this has to be done today. You're turning it in Monday, and you're not having work time on Monday. So um, if you notice that neighbors around you are done early, maybe they can help you with the cutting or something like that. But all of this needs to be done today.